Hey, hi, hi guys, welcome back. Good morning to you. Well, it's not actually morning, it's 12 o'clock in the afternoon. But um, I've, I've done a full day's work, really. I've been up from six o'clock, um, doing all my chores and everything else. And I'm thinking here, what should I cook today? And today I'm going to be doing some Vincentian black fish. Now I'll show you what it looks like, but it's you can't buy it in this country. Not that I know of. You can't buy it in this country. So when I go back home, I get a lot of it and I bring it back and I freeze it. There's a, quite a few things we bring back, um, things like we bring back rum. We were able to bring back Sunset. Now, Sunset is one of the strongest uh, rum in the world. It's 99% proof. But St. Vincent, the Prime Minister, stopped that from being imported to, to England. Now, I remember at one point, I used to bring back maybe six, seven bottles in my suitcase, but now they seize it at the airport and you've got to, um, you got to dilute it. But I do have a trick of how to bring some back, but I might get in trouble. So I'm not going to say how I bring mine back. But anyway, we bring the rum home and we bring breadfruit home. We bring fruits that we can't, we bring everything that we can't buy in this country in our suitcase. Where, every time I come back, my suitcase is well overloaded with all the produce that we bring back, you know, just to have for our own. We bring back farine, which is like a porridge. It's, it, you know, it, it's gorgeous. Farine you put in tea and, you know, I'll show you what these things look like. But today I'm gonna do blackfish. I'm gonna do blackfish. And it's, as I said, I don't know if I told you, it's part of the whale. It's been salted, dried out. So you've really got to um, sort of boil it to, to get the salt away. Um, some people, I pressure cook it because I find if I don't pressure cook it, it's too rubbery and I can't eat it at that consistent. So I pressure cook it for about half an hour, take it out, take all the fat off, fry it over with some vegetables, but I'll show you how I do it anyway. All right, so stick around. If you love this sort of content, please don't forget to subscribe. That would be amazing if you could. That'd be, that'd be wonderful. Um, so I'm gonna get out of bed because I actually, I came to bed for about five minutes. Uh, not to, just, just to lounge around really, but now I'm gonna get up and go and sort out dinner for the day. All right, so follow me. So here's the blackfish that uh, I got. I've just taken some out of a bag to show you what it looks like. And it's this, um, it looks really funny actually. It looks really funny. I can't really describe what it looks like, but this is whale, a part of a whale. And it's been dried out. You can see it's quite dry and it, you know, you can, you know. We're going to wash it in some lime water and we are going to boil it for half an hour with some garlic and some onions in the water just to give a bit of flavor. So this is what we're gonna do next. So that's what you call Vincentian blackfish. So as you can see, I've um, washed the, the, the blackfish um, with some lemon, um, a bit a bit of uh, vinegar, just to wash off all the sort of red, the, the smell and all the rest of it and give it a good clean. And now this is gonna be going into, this will be going into my pressure cooker. So you can see we've cleaned it. Um, we need to do some more cleaning because it's quite a fatty fish as well. So there'll be, after we bolt it a bit, then we'll um, clean and wash again. All right, so that's the black fish we have there. You can see here, I have my pressure cooker on the fire, um, boiling away. And now I'm going to add some garlic, um, just add a load of garlic to it, just to sort of kill the, the, the sort of fishy taste and all the rest of it. I know it's meant to be fish, but it's, you know, so that's what we're gonna do now. So my water is boiling away. I'm going to be putting 
chipping some uh, garlic into my pot. I do, as I say, put a lot of garlic. I've just washed some garlic and put some in there. And I just chip some of this in here. So that's uh, boiling away and we are going to enter, well put our black fish in to boil and we are going to pressure that for 15 minutes. Now if you want it more softer, everyone has a different, some people boil it just like that without pressure cooking it, but it all depends on the consistency you like of your fish. I like mine's quite soft, I like mine's quite soft, I don't like mine too stringy and um i don't like mine's too stringy and and and, and, and lasticating tasty sort of thing i like mine's quite chunky but soft with the vegetables that's what i like all right so we're going to cover this down and uh yeah i'll see you in half an hour well not in the video i'll see you in a minute <laughs> my cats can smell fish but i tell you what i put them outside when I'm cooking because they're naughty cats. They'll be prowling um, for <laughs> the smell of fish and all the rest of it. So you will be going outside to play for an hour or so. And then, and you, and you. <laughs> so this is my breadfruit, well, some of my breadfruit that I got from St. Vincent. And it's been cleaned, well, peeled and sliced, sliced. Uh, and we just put them in a uh, cling film for when we're ready. I put them in a the freezer because obviously like anything else you don't want them to spoil. So this is what it's like in the, um, I've just taken this out of the freezer. So I'll show you in a few hours what this looks like when it's all melted out and we've fr fried it over with a bit of black pepper and and yeah. So that's, that's our bread food that we're going to have with the black fish. Ta -da! So this is what we're gonna, we're gonna, we've got some peppers here. Now this is starting to wilt up, but it's still peppery. I'm not gonna waste it, I'm gonna use it. And we have some garlic that we're gonna chop to go in. We have a red onion. I prefer cooking with red onion. I find it more tasty. I know they use it for salad, but I prefer red onion to cook with. I've got some leeks here that I'm gonna chop and put into it as well. But you'll see it all coming together. Usually, I, sometimes I do um, red peppers and sometimes I do yellow peppers and have a big, you know, uh, vegetables with the green, the, the black fish. You got to excuse me. I still got me. Um, <laughs> I still got me a uh, nightgown on, only because it's bloody freezing. Today is freezing, even though I've got the heating on. So this is the breadfruit it's all um defrosted now it's been out for a couple of hours defrosted and i'm going to fry it over i'll show you how i fry it over this is all the vegetables i chipped up now you can put red peppers green peppers yellow peppers this is hot pepper garlic red onions and some leeks that's all i've got in today i've basically just gone through my fridge and See what I could use up before it goes to waste. Um, yeah, so that's what I've chopped up, ready to go in to fry. Well, my pot is going on up nicely here. I'm gonna, it's been on for about 30 minutes, so I'm gonna take it off and see how we're looking. I'm sure we're almost there now. Right, here we go. Let's get that in there. There you go, my pressure cooker. This is what it looks like inside. So you can see the excess water. We'll drain that off, clean this up again, and get rid of all the fat that's in there.
so you can see I've cleaned the the black fish taking off all the fatty I'm trying to see if I can find any more fatty bits to show you on there this is the garlic that was sort of crushed in there so you see there's a bit of fat we don't want that don't none of this fat here this is what we don't want all this can't stand it I mean some people like it my other half says why do you take the fat off he likes it but I take it all off so I just take that all off take the meat away from it and discard it all that I take it off can't stand it I'll leave some back for him but uh and then I just shred it you can see I just break it into pieces some people they shred it they take it and shred it bit by bit but I like it quite chunky so we're just gonna break it apart and this is what it looks like just break it apart see there's a bit of fat there Ugh, can't stand it um, and just shred it into bits as I say look everyone cooks this different this is just the way I like it not too shredded a bit of chunky bits in there you know that you can chew on and this is the result of it that's the result of it all right so we are going to start frying our vegetables and getting it to come together i can't believe my battery is almost going so i might have to go and charge this but let's see if i can finish this so we're going to put a bit of oil in there and um, i put vegetable oil just a bit just to coat the bottom let that heat up a bit we'll give that a minute or two to heat up just let's put the oil around it give that a minute or two to or not even a minute to heat up and stuff and then we'll add what we need to add okay so that seems to white, um, heat up nicely we're going to add the garlic a bit of the garlic add a bit of the garlic let that go I cook with a wooden spoon I don't know but this is how so this is on a medium heat, just as a, a, a medium heat. Let that go a little bit. I might have to put you in a time cap for a little bit. You don't want your garlic to burn, you know, you just want it nice and golden. Then we are going to add the onions and eggs. I have to say, it goes down the throat. Just. So this has been going for about five minutes. Began for five minutes. We're going to add the black fish and just let it cook down softly until these are soft. We don't want them too soft. So this has been going for about five minutes, and yeah, it's coming on nicely. Now everyone has their timing when they put their stock in. I usually get this fish stock from our local Caribbean store. It's ninety nine p for it so I put one cube of it in this
that's been going for another five minutes since I've added the blackfish. Now remember the blackfish is cooked, but we're just marinating it with the vegetables. I'm gonna add a bit of water if you want a bit, sort of, a bit of juice, a bit of gravy to it. Um, and that will sort of bring the fish stock that I put in up. Now let's uh, put a bit of water, just a bit. You know, in case you wanna make dumpling or something with it and you want a bit. So we leave that on there. And then we're going to put the lid on to, we're gonna put the lid on so it steams for a while. Now, I don't know where the lid is for this saucepan, but that's just a Caribbean home. We never have the right lids for the right pots. So please, I'm just being real. I'm putting a top on for that to steam down for, a, for maybe another 10 minutes and then we are done. Right, I put my dutchie on. We're gonna put a bit of oil in here, vegetable oil. Here we go. To fry our breadfruit. We're gonna let that hot. We're gonna sort of deep fry it. Well, not deep fry it, shallow fry it. Um, and that's what I'm gonna show you next. Here's my breadfruit again. They're a bit thick, so I'm going to cut them down a bit lower. Uh, a bit smaller, sorry. Just so it fries a bit better. I'm gonna cut them down a bit more. <clears throat> That's what we're gonna do. Cut them down in half. So they can get fried a bit more crispier. They don't take long to defrost out the fridge, I have to say. It doesn't take a couple of hours. Within an hour, they defrost it. Ready to fry now. Sorry, that's not being centered, does it? <clears throat> Sorry about that. But yeah, these are ready to fry. So I found some tomatoes in the fridge and I put them over. This has been on for about 10 minutes. I think we're there really. Um, these are nice and cooked halfway, nice and crunchy. And yeah, so we are done with that. We are going to put our red fruit in. Oops, that's dropped out in my hand, but it didn't burn me. We're going to put it in and we're going to fry them two, three minutes on each side. That's what we're doing. That's the chunk side. Put them in. There we go. Just put a little bit in at a time and then we'll go on to the rest. But I'll show you what this lot looks like. So this has been going for about five minutes on this side. So should we see what it looks like on the neck? Okay, so it's still coloring I like. If you want it any more crispier, then leave it uh, for another minute or two. But this is what I love, this is what I prefer. Great. Yeah, that's, that's looking really good. Well, this is how I like my breadfruit fried. Now, that's the ones I haven't done, and these are the ones I've done. So I'll finish them all up, put the plate together, and show you what I come up with. <laughs> so, <laughs> I've finished the breadfruit. Now, it don't look pretty, but it tastes gorgeous. <laughs> I tried to make it look presentable for you guys, but uh, listen, let's be real. You can't make this sort of food presentable. I, well, I don't know if you can. If anyone can prove me wrong, please send me a picture comment like share subscribe oh yes i can't wait to tuck into this so here is my black fish and roast breadfruit guys i'm gonna enjoy this this is what you call a delicacy uh, delicacy 
delicacy. <laughs> That's what you call a delicacy. Uh, Vincentian blackfish with vegetables and roast breadfruit. Guys, you are you don't know what you're missing here. You don't know you don't know what you're missing. But anyway, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Anyway, guys, bye because I have to eat my food. Yes. Yeah?